Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple bot that checks to see if there's a smile in the video. We'll be using Zigio's video API for our recorder and video playback, Manifold's command line interface tool to manage my services and configurations from the command line, and Node.js's OpenCV to track the smiles. So let's get started! We'll need Zigio's video recorder, so let's make sure the browser has access to it by including these two source links in the header. Now let's add the latest version of recorder Zigio offers with the following code. Cool, let's build a simple server to test what we've got so far. Awesome, now that we can record videos, we'll need to be able to send our server the video's token so that it knows which video to perform its machine learning magic on. The video token is created as soon as the recorder is done saving the video to our Zigio account. One of the embedding recorder events, called Processed, tells us exactly when this happens. To use it, we'll need to access the recorder embedding. So first, we'll need to integrate Zigio's API with the browser by specifying our app's token. Cool. Now let's grab the recorder element and pass it into Zigio's find by element promise recorder function, which looks for the recorder's element ID. Once Zigio successfully finds it, we'll move on to the next list of steps, which we'll add in a mount function later on. And because the recorder element takes a second to load, we'll need to wrap this block of code inside an init function, which we'll be calling in our HTML's body tag. All right, now that we have access to the recorder embedding, we can listen to the processed event. The success function that we wrapped our mount function in returns an object filled with a bunch of information about the embedding. But the only info we need is the on function to listen to the processed event and the get function to get the video token. All right, so when the video's been processed, a post request with the video token in the body will be sent to the server. Let's make sure our server listens to this request and receives the token. We're going to need to parse the incoming JSON object, so let's import a body parser as well. Nice! We're getting the video token. In order to do something with this token, we'll first need to integrate Zigio with our server. So let's install it. Since I'm using Manifold to manage my application services, my credentials will be provided through the Zigio URL environment variable. Now that we have our Zigio server object, we can use its download video function, which does exactly what the name says. It downloads the raw video specified by a token. And when it's finished downloading, we'll save it to our server using file systems write file function. After it's done saving, we'll pass the file path into a function I've already defined called annotated smile. Okay, so this function is where all of the machine learning video analytics happen. In short, what it does is annotate the video by reading it frame by frame. A face and smile classifier is called in each frame to check if one or the other exists. If a smile exists, it will annotate that video wherever the smile and face is found and returns the new file path to the video. Otherwise, it will return an empty string. So if an empty string is returned, that means there is no smile found in the video, which means we'll be sending the browser the same old video token and a false response. And if a new file path is returned, that means that the smile was found. So we'd want to send the browser a new and annotated video to show where exactly the smile was found. So let's make that happen by first uploading the video into our Zigio account with the create function. All right, once the video has been uploaded, we'll need to send the new video token back to the browser along with a true response. Awesome, we're done with the back end. Now let's go back to our front end and make sure the browser gets the JSON object our server is sending back. Cool, now that we have the video token and a true or false answer to help us determine what the bot will say to the users, we can update the UI accordingly. All right. We're done, but just a quick disclaimer, because this was a rather simple machine learning bot, 
the smell detection is not as intelligent as, you know, Siri. It can only detect a full on mouth open, teeth showing type of smiles. So with that said, let's test it. Awesome. That's it for this video. Hope you learned a lot about Zigo's video API and realized how easy it is to implement into any project or apps that you're working on. Until next time.